good evening friends pradeep kumar here for engineering clinic so welcome to engineering clinic so today we are going to see a protocol called as gpsr so we call it as greedy perimeter and stateless routing protocol so this what we will be seeing now so this is mainly used for vanads so we call it as vehicular adapt networks so this is what we will be seeing today so there are uh, three versions of uh, gpsr protocol path aware gps gpsr protocol mm gpsr protocol and gpsr protocol so if you are undergraduate and postgraduate postgraduate you can use the modules as it is and compare them for these protocols for panels so this way you can try out if you are undergraduate postgraduate if you are a scholar if you are a phd scholar you can modify the protocols and design your own gpsr alternative so in this example in this video we will be seeing the installation of gpsr and some source codes so in the next video i will explain the complete source code and in this video i will just tell you the how to install this package and uh, you can get to know what are the how to run any gpsr protocol examples uh, in ns3 so i have tried this example in uh, ns 3.27 version which i could not succeed so i prefer going to ns version 3.23 for this so i will be having uh, two folders in my uh, installation drive one is for ns 3.27 another for ns 3.23 so we can parallelly run both of these uh, uh, both versions in the same uh, linux operating system so we can run multiple versions of ns3 so i am going to run ns-3.23 for gpsr and uh, other simulations with ns-3.27 and ns version 3.29 so no issues in that so that we will be doing it now we'll come to the installation If you are installing NS3 for the first time, if you are installing NS3 for the first time, install these packages. Install the following packages. So you can copy paste. You can copy paste from the uh, in from from the window. Copy paste can copy paste so these are the packages that we need to install sudo apt so from here to here you can copy from here to here you can copy and then you install it so we will open a terminal what i do is i just copy from here i already installed it but since we are installing for the first time ns3 we just try this so first these are the pre-requirements for uh, prerequisites or requirements for installing ns3 so you can download here and give the password since I use sudo here I'm giving the password yeah so now nothing is needed so because all the softwares are installed but in your case it might be taking some time to get installed so that means the prerequisite is completed so next thing is we download packages we will download ns 3.23 package you can download from their website or directly use the command so better that you may use the commands one by one as given below so you can use one by one as given below so first thing so 
this wget so wget is nothing but you can uh, download the package so even even you can use wget hyphen c that means even if some internet get disconnected in between wget still works fine so just copy this go to terminal window clear the screen and control v so once you done it it will go and process the nsnam.org and for downloading the software so already retrieved so that means that already i have downloaded this package so ns all in one 3.23 please see that i already have ns all in one 3.27 here i also also downloaded ns 3.23.tar.bz2 so now what i do is i will be writing a command tar xjf or xvjf i can use it then ns all in one 3.23.tar.bz2 so x for extract uh, v for verbose when during the extraction we can able to see what file is been extracted j for uh, extracting the bz2 file and uh, f for forcing so so this is what verbose mode it's running so after completing everything we will get a folder get formed so ns 3.23 it's formed here now we are going to install inside this now not yet over i'll just come back here and the next command is so tar z x j v f let's copy this command copy yeah now once it is done we'll have this now next command is so we will go and set this folder now so what we do is cd ns all in one 3.23 we go and set this folder so what i do is i'll just copy this command cd ns in all in one 3.23 so once it is done we will be using another command now now we will be downloading this package inside this command here i have a command called as git git it's from my downloading from github clone this id and phgpsr is already been uh, given over there so just cloning into it so cloning is nothing but downloading the package in the current folder from the server to the uh, local machine so that's what been cloning means i will open this editor window now see i'll just show you here see phgpsr is being downloaded now so here we have we are downloading this yeah it's simply everything is done now we can see uh, phgp is downloaded here we have examples we have figures they have already given uh, done some figures over here so you can see there are three protocols compared phgpsr uh, gpsr mm gpsr these three things are compared you can see all the graphs they have given it here then we have results so gpsr results pair 5 Uh, pad 10, pad 15, pad 20, like this, and MM GPS, uh, the PA GPS, uh, then the TCL files, so and scripts. So there are some uh, MATLAB scripts are available available there. Then source. So in the source we have these three models: MM GPS, uh, location service, GPS, uh, all these models are available in the source. Now what we do is we copy all these things into a corresponding folder, and we'll be doing that. so that's what we are going to do now so uh, it is available in this location so from this location we have to copy these files and paste it in a particular place that's what we will be doing it now so either we do graphically or we do using uh, commands so i will show you both of this model how to do that so that you are uh, you can easily do that using uh, graphically rather than in the command mode okay so now what i do is i just copy these files here so src what you do is just copy all these files i'll just use control c copy this and go to ns all in one 3.23 here inside that we have source folder inside this source folder paste it control v you can see that we have pasted all the four folders inside this then again we'll come back here we have examples so we have only one file here control c to copy this file usually all the example file will be pasted in the scratch folder so what we do is ns 3. Two three scratch folder and paste it here. So this will be pasted here. I'll give the commands also. Don't worry. 
then uh, again we will go back figures results and the scripts so these things I can copy control C these things I can uh, go and sit here inside this folder in a 3.23 and paste it here so that means figures results main.sh scripts all these things been pasted in ns 3.23 so these commands also i'll be i'll be showing you so, so what i do is after we done this is just this is the com these are the commands to copy so the following are the commands to copy the folder to ns3 folders but I have shown you graphically so I have shown how to copy in GUI so, so it's your choice to you whether you use this or that so, but I have shown you both method now installation of NS 3.23 along with GPS since I am also doing for the first time so I mean already tested it but for recording this video i am just doing for this next time so that i have deleted the folder whatever i install i have deleted it and i am doing from fresh so we have the command here so first i will go inside the folder so first what i do is open a terminal open a terminal and go to this place cd ns all in one hyphen 3.23 slash ns hyphen 3.23 so this is the folder I will be going here. Okay, so what I do is I will be going here. So exit, I will put exit. So now I am in this folder now, I am in the home folder. So cd ns solid one three point two three slash ns system three point two three. Now this is the place I will be going. Then what I do is I need to compile it now. So usually what we do is uh, this is a compilation we use dot slash path sorry uh, build dot py uh, enable hyphen examples enable hyphen test this is what we usually doing it but now in this case since some additional library is also there so we will be using this c++ flags so what flags so this means uh, all uh, compiler arithmetics will be calling all the flags flags and then the this is the syntax for uh, these two examples so instead of this I am using this okay so now what I do is I will just go here now this will be compiling this entire ns 3.23 so now it is done so there are some modules are not been enabled by which there are some modules so no issues now sudo slash vaf install I can use that use the password wrong. yeah so now all uh, totally there are 3393 packages will be installed so the installation might be taking some 20 minutes uh, 15 to 20 minutes according to the speed of your machine so my machine is running with the solid state drive so it's a macbook here so i think it will be taking some 10 to 15 minutes time so anyway just pause this video after the installation i will come back So I got some error in between. So I got some error. So I need to install first thing this. So we I need to give dot slash back. The only then I will be giving sudo dot slash back install. So this step I forgot. Okay, so you have to give dot slash back. Now that command is running now. So we have only 2,227 packages. So after this package is installed, I'll come back. Yeah, friends uh, it's done so i have just uh, built all the modules here you can see now uh, gpsr with no python is installed mm gpsr is installed and uh, pa gps are also installed so all the three modules are installed and these are the modules that are not been built so no issues for us now so all other modules have been uh, built in uh, this gpsr protocol so now 
the installation is done here. Selection of GPS are on there. Alternatives is done. So now to execute this example, already we have execute an example. We have already have a file in the scratch folder. So we will run it. So what we do is we go to the folder there. So dot slash wrap double hyphen run scratch then PA PATPSR hyphen main. You can see this is the command here. Once you run it, since the GPSR is already installed, PATPSR is installed, you can get the number of nodes, creating 30 nodes with 15 paths. And this will compute so many folders, so many results, all these things this will compute. You will see so starting simulation for 200 seconds, starting simulation for speed 15 milliseconds, and we wait. So the simulation might be taking a longer time. The simulation is now at 10 seconds. So every 10 seconds it will show you the simulation. Now in another video I will be showing you uh, I will explain you the source code for GPSR. Along with that, I will run the simulation and plot the characteristics. So, for time being, this video you just check whether how the file is running, how the GPSR file is running. So, we will wait for uh, 200 seconds. Now, only 30 seconds is up. So still the simulation is going on now it is 160 seconds I will wait for some more time so you can see output operation successfully performed one and performed two so the total 200 seconds of simulation is done it has taken some time so now we can check with there are so many results already we have seen the results scratch and everything so in the results folder it might have been recorded so here we have PAGP result and other stuff So you can see that number of uh, seed is this, last packet is this, total transmission is this, receiving is this, packet delivery ratio is this, hop count is this and delay is this. So like this we have got the data. So anyway we will be seeing this data in the next video. So for time being this is just for installation of GPSR protocol. So thanks for watching. video my channel please subscribe and share it to your friends so for any source code download you can use www.nsnm.com so this is also my website you can download the source code from here so thank you very much for watching bye bye